The story of the Ten Plagues is a powerful one. It is a tale that has been passed down through generations, a story that has captivated the minds and hearts of many. It's a tale of immense suffering, divine intervention and ultimately, freedom. The plagues were not just natural disasters, they were acts of divine will, meant to convey a message. Imagine a land struck by disaster after disaster, water turning to blood, making it undrinkable and causing great distress among the people. Swarms of insects darkening the sky, consuming every crop and leaving nothing but devastation in their wake. This was Egypt during the time of the plagues. A once prosperous land now in chaos, its people suffering under the weight of these divine punishments. These weren't just random events, they were signs, carefully orchestrated to challenge the existing order. Challenges to the Pharaoh's power, a ruler who believed himself to be a god, now facing the wrath of a higher power. His refusal to free the Israelites had angered God. Despite the suffering of his people, the Pharaoh remained defiant, unwilling to let go of his slaves. Each plague was a message, a divine communication that could not be ignored. They were meant to break the Pharaoh's resolve and force him to see the error of his ways, a plea for justice and freedom. The Israelites who had long been oppressed saw these plagues as a sign that their liberation was near. They were a testament to the power of faith and the hope for a better future. The plagues unfolded like a terrifying symphony of chaos, each note more dreadful than the last, echoing through the annals of history. These events were not just natural disasters but divine interventions that left an indelible mark on the ancient world. First, the Nile River, the lifeblood of Egypt, turned to blood. This was no ordinary occurrence. The river, which had sustained civilizations for centuries, became a symbol of divine wrath. The once clear waters turned a deep, ominous red, signaling the beginning of a series of catastrophic events. Fish died, the water stank, and people suffered. The stench of decay filled the air, making life unbearable. The Egyptians who relied on the Nile for drinking, bathing, and irrigation, found themselves in a dire situation, struggling to find clean water amidst the chaos. Then came the frogs, hopping out of the poisoned river and into homes. These amphibians, usually harmless, became a source of terror as they invaded every corner of Egyptian life. Kitchens, bedrooms and streets were overrun, disrupting daily routines and adding to the growing sense of dread. Lice and flies followed, tormenting people and livestock. These tiny pests caused immense suffering spreading disease and discomfort. The relentless buzzing and biting made it impossible for people to find peace further amplifying the sense of an inescapable curse. Disease struck down animals bringing famine closer. The loss of livestock which were essential for food, labor and trade had a devastating impact on the economy and daily life. Fields lay barren and the specter of starvation loomed large over the land. Boils covered people's skin, causing agonizing pain. These painful sores erupted without warning, making even the simplest tasks excruciating. The physical suffering was matched by the psychological torment, as people feared the next affliction that might befall them. Thunder roared, and hail rained down, destroying crops and buildings. The sky itself seemed to turn against the Egyptians, unleashing a barrage of ice that shattered windows, flattened fields, and left destruction in its wake. The once fertile land was now a scene of devastation. Locusts, like a living blanket, consumed everything green. These voracious insects descended in swarms, devouring crops and vegetation in their path. The landscape, once lush and green, was transformed into a barren wasteland, stripping the land of its ability to sustain life. Darkness, thick and suffocating, enveloped the land. This was no ordinary nightfall. It was a palpable, oppressive darkness that blotted out the sun and stars. People groped blindly, unable to see even their own hands, as fear and uncertainty gripped their hearts. Finally the tenth plague, the death of the firstborn, broke the pharaoh's will. This ultimate tragedy struck at the very heart of every family, sparing no household. The cries of mourning echoed through the land as the pharaoh, overwhelmed by grief and despair, finally relented, allowing the Israelites to leave Egypt and marking the end of this harrowing chapter in history. The Bible vividly describes the plagues, but can we find any physical evidence of these events? Archaeological findings are limited, this isn't entirely surprising, the plagues happened centuries ago, time erases even the most dramatic events. However, the lack of direct evidence doesn't mean we dismiss the story, it invites us to explore, to ask, could there be a scientific explanation? Scientists have proposed several theories, these theories try to ground the plagues in natural phenomena. 
One theory points to a severe drought as the root cause. Imagine a prolonged period of little to no rainfall. The Nile River, usually a source of life, shrinks. Crops wither and die. People struggle to survive. This kind of drought could have set the stage for the plagues. Section 5, The Nile Turns Red, A Toxic Surprise. Now picture this. The drought leads to stagnant water in the Nile. This creates a perfect breeding ground for a specific type of algae. This algae called, turns the water blood red. It also produces toxins. These toxins could have killed fish and made the water unsafe to drink. This could explain the first plague. Section 6. From one plague to another, a chain reaction. The algae bloom theory doesn't stop there. It suggests a domino effect, with each plague triggering the next. Dead fish in the river attract hordes of frogs. Then, as the frogs die, their decaying bodies attract insects like lice and flies. These insects could have carried diseases, leading to the death of livestock and the boils that afflicted people. Section 7. A swarm of locusts, devouring the land. What about the locusts? These insects are notorious for their devastating swarms. Changes in weather patterns, perhaps caused by the initial drought, can trigger locust outbreaks. Imagine billions of locusts descending on Egypt. They devour every plant in sight, leaving behind a barren landscape. This fits the biblical description of the Eighth Plague. Section 8. Volcanoes Unleashed, a possible explanation. Some scientists propose a volcanic eruption as another possible trigger for the plagues. Volcanoes are powerful forces of nature. A large eruption could have released massive amounts of ash and gases into the atmosphere. This could explain the hailstorms, the darkness, and even the red water. Volcanic ash can contaminate water sources and cause respiratory problems. Section 9. Darkness and Death, The Final Plagues The final plagues, the darkness and the death of the firstborn, are perhaps the most challenging to explain scientifically. The darkness could have been caused by a dense ash cloud from a volcanic eruption. The death of the firstborn is often linked to a contaminated food supply, Perhaps a fungus, thriving in the altered environmental conditions, contaminated the grain stores. This fungus could have produced toxins that were particularly harmful to young children. Section 10. Escape from Egypt, Parting the Red Sea The story culminates with the Israelites' escape from Egypt. The parting of the Red Sea is another event that has sparked scientific curiosity. Some theories suggest that strong winds, perhaps combined with tidal fluctuations, could have temporarily exposed a land bridge. This would have allowed the Israelites to cross, with the waters rushing back as the wind subsided. Section 11. Ancient Stories, Modern Science, A New Perspective. Throughout history, humanity has been captivated by tales that transcend time and culture. These stories, passed down through generations, often hold a mirror to our own experiences and beliefs. The Ten Plagues of Egypt is a story that continues to fascinate and intrigue, this ancient narrative, found in the biblical book of Exodus, describes a series of devastating events that befell the land of Egypt. From rivers turning to blood to swarms of locusts, these plagues have been the subject of much speculation and interpretation. While we may never know with absolute certainty what caused these events, exploring scientific theories allows us to engage with the story in a new way. Modern science offers us tools and methodologies that can shed light on these ancient mysteries. For instance, some researchers suggest that the plagues could be explained by natural phenomena such as volcanic eruptions, climate change, or disease outbreaks. It reminds us that even ancient tales can spark our curiosity and lead us to a deeper understanding of our world. By examining these stories through the lens of science, we not only gain insights into the past, but also learn more about the natural world and its complexities. Science doesn't diminish the power of these stories, instead, it enhances them adding layers of meaning and wonder. The intersection of myth and science creates a rich tapestry of knowledge where each thread contributes to a greater understanding of our history and our place in the universe. Instead, it enhances them, adding layers of meaning and wonder. As we continue to explore and discover, we are reminded that the quest for knowledge is a journey without end. Each new discovery, each new theory, brings us one step closer to unraveling the mysteries of our past and understanding the world we live in today.